they're all looking good. The wind sock, we've got very little wind. Um, QFE set, the radio set, and uh, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay, airspeed's active. Looking for 70, 70 knots, and up we go. It goes up quick, isn't it? Very quick. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Got my whiskey living the zone to the west at 2,000 feet. So again, if, if there is anyone that's joined the airspace, I've just told them now where we're going, yeah. um, like or where we are. If you're, um, you've got an individual volume on your handset, so if you, on your headset, so if you need to turn it up individually, it's on this oh, side here. Yeah. That will go up and down.
danger area. So we'll make sure that we go in between Fenefli and Burry Port and then that way we're totally away from uh, the danger area, okay? I can hear my phone. No, it's my phone. Oh, it's yours, is it? You get a phone call. Oh. I was like, oh, I'm surprised I can hear it. Because I have that um, nostalgic ring as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't have, but I was missing too many calls. Yeah. And that's quite, quite prominent, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so if we go straight the way we're tracking now, um, we'll miss the danger area. You can see the uh, runway over there. Can you see Pembrey Airfield? Yeah. Um, but I don't fancy going over there and getting blown up. <laughs> and on the NOTAMs it said that there's like optical, um, what they say, optical and electronic obstructions, whatever that yeah. means. Yeah. Maybe they're like uh, trying out some laser guns or something like that. Good idea to keep away there. Yeah, I think so. That's uh, the Pembrey uh, Country Park. Yeah. Looks quite small when you see it from here, it doesn't does, it? It does, yeah. So what we do is we'll keep flying this um, distance and then we go past, uh, according to the map here, we go past, can you remember the, uh, uh, the racetrack that I told you about? Yeah. So I'm looking now for the racetrack because that's basically where we're going to hang a left. And I think it's there. I've never come at it from this angle before, so it's all a little bit different. If I go around to the right a bit, that'll give you a view of Burry Port. If you, uh, from my window, I get a good view here. But I'm using all these things as uh, navigation points and forgetting that yeah. because I'm keeping it on my side, you can't see it so much. <laughs> So when we get to uh, half or, uh, not half west, when we get to the um, uh, race course, I'll resume the normal navigation, which according to my calculations, yeah. um, we should then fly a heading of two, uh, 322. I'll adjust, adjust my track now, keeping this on my left. And that's uh, Ponchi 8. Oh. Uh, the reservoir, I think we've probably already passed it, or it should be a, around this sort of area. You usually fly between the reservoir and uh, those, um, uh, what do they call them? Uh, the solar panels. Solar panels, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll see them on the way back. Yeah. We'll cut the corner a bit on the way back as well, and uh, just to make a bit of time and make sure we're not back late for them. There's a lot of those solar panel fields. Oh, they're everywhere. And um, over by uh, uh, Whitland as well, there's loads over there. So where is the race course? Where are you? Oh, that, that's, um, I guess it's like Trimsour and Force Lass it's called. Oh. Um, posh people call it Force Lass. People that don't live there call it Trimsour. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a little bit of bumps. Makes it a bit interesting though. Yeah. But it's been smooth as anything so far. Yeah, very. And so this will be for a change of sur surfaces. Yeah. We, we've been over the water, so that is, um, that then will... Uh, it's fairly consistent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so now we're coming over some spaces, there's trees and open fields, yeah. and then houses as well, concrete, yeah. anything like that. Just difference in temperature and it just like totally changes it. Yeah. You can see the um, the airport at my three o'clock, uh, nine o'clock over there. Yeah. Yeah, I just find it really difficult to orientate when you're up here. Yeah. Picking out landmarks, but actually. 
determined in where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I still do, and you'll be really pleased to hear that. Yeah. But <laughs> like, but you've got to use the benefits of, of everything um, that you've got with you. So we got the sat nav. So I'm looking at the sat nav, yeah. and I'm making sure that we skirt around the danger area, that we don't go anywhere near it. Yeah. Now, when we're navigating, like we've missed most of our reference points that I spoke about last night, because we we adapted our little route. Yeah. So, um, but Carmarthen has always been there, so I know where Carmarthen is. <laughs> so, Van Steffen is the edge of the danger zone. Oh, uh, not the danger zone, I'll get criticised for saying that. Yeah. It's not Top Gun, as my instructor no. said, it's not Top Gun. Um, the danger area, so that's where the edge is. So, so long as we don't go inside of there, okay. we're fine. So now we'll turn the corner a little bit. Uh, because I've seen the pylons that go past the old house. Have you? And so we can, yeah, they're to my left. They're just running alongside here. Okay. So we can follow that, cut the corner. Yeah. Um, you know, we're only going to save a couple of minutes, but yeah. a couple of minutes is um, a couple of minutes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then you see if you can see the old house. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll go past that. We'll join up on the A40. We'll change frequency then to um, half a west. In fact, we may as well now. Um, so, what's our position to command? And just south by about a mile. So, I'll do that now. I'll go um, golf mic whiskey, changing frequency to half a west on uh, one one uh, one two two decimal two zero five. We're um, one mile south of Carmarthen at uh, 1,900 feet, Gold Point Whiskey. So when I know that no one's going to reply, it, it, for some reason it makes it more awkward. Um, yeah. How do I change the frequency on here then? Ah, oh, there we are, that's good. When we get the Sinclairs, I'll call them up and let them know that we're on frequency. Yeah. So can you still see the pylons? Yeah, the pylons are here. Um, I think I can see the house. So, uh, to your one o'clock then, you can see the pylons and yeah. there's a bunch of trees yeah. and there's a field to the right of it and I think that's Kevin Lamb's, you know, the one that you could sled down. Okay. And then, um, just below it then, you've got like a patch of trees there and some buildings up at the top. You see the road and the crossroads on the right. I'm thinking that might be it. The paddock. Yeah. Do you see where I'm looking? No. Okay. It's about, if you could gauge, about a quarter of a mile ahead of us. Right. It's on the nose of the plane I, that I'm looking at. Yeah. It's right over there, just there. Okay. So we're coming over. Check our position. Yeah, we're fine. See it just by there? Yeah. Over there? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, Got yeah. Got it? Yeah. And, and that's it. All right. And there's Bank of Ellen over there. Right, Swansea to Hamper West. We're currently a 
confirmed Sinclair's at 1,900 feet, requesting airfield information. Do you want to hold this for a moment? Go off, mate. Let's keep going. We've got readability strength 5. Uh, we've got runway in use. 09 left hand. A QFE of 1017. We have no known 6 traffic. Runway 09 is a left hand circuit, QFE 1017, Golf Mike Whiskey. Mike Whiskey, Roger. What you do when you're navigating is you always keep what you're navigating against on your left hand side. Yeah. And the reason for that is that if you're all doing that, you're not going to go head on into the next oncoming, oh. in theory. A good starting point then. Yeah. yeah. So look at these clouds. Yeah. It means that spotting the runway is going to be a, a bit of a pig. Okay. So forward thinking then. So we've got Sinclair's here. We've got the A40. I can see have for, uh, I can see uh, Whitland over there. Yeah. So that's the next bit that we're navigating towards. You see. And then in the distance then I can see Pengauss Hill, so I know the A40 is going that way, I'm keeping an eye then of the railway line, keeping it on my left hand side, and then planning now how we're going to enter um, to land with them. Now I know that we've got to come back on ourselves, and we're... Romeo, uh, Golf with you, Romeo, um, not to finish out at this time, we're going to transfer to West Wales, one of the different ones like Paul um, so yeah, coming back into it, in the distance we'll end up seeing the runway, so we're going to fly towards the runway and we're coming in here and it's 2-7 that we usually see, so as I see the runway I'll call up and tell them uh, what we're doing yeah. and then I'll, I'm going to enter the circuit downwind so it's left hand so we'll have the runway on our left hand side okay. all the turns in the traffic pattern are going to be left hence the reason left hand yeah um, so we'll enter and we'll just come that way and then we'll turn around and land that way that's the plan but i won't tell them what i want to do until i know for sure i'm not going to change my plan okay. because otherwise that will just confuse the matter so I've still got the railway line there, and it goes up, and a little bit further along it will split into two. You've got Narbuff over there, oh. um, and then I think that's like Clenderwin and Fandacilio over there then. Oh. That's a shame it, the visibility is so rubbish. Well it's still, I mean I know you've seen it a lot better, but it's still a hell of a view. Okay. It is, yeah. I never saw that plane on the runway, Mike. He said he was taking off and he yeah. ain't there. And I don't know where he's gone. Sorry, man. I see him, yeah. Good spot, thank you. Tarsen and Believer, Tarsen and Ridge, departure and the position of the inbound, please. Yeah, just entering uh, downwind, Golf Mike Whiskey. Okay, so then uh, entering 0 9 and uh, taking off with a left turn to head uh, downwind and then towards Solver behind you, Gosh, and then Belima. And Belima, Roger. T's and P's are all looking good, brakes are off, flaps are set, trim is set for landing, um, fuel pump is on and it's sufficient fuel for a go around. We have the radio set and QFE is set. So it's just like lining yourself up now, aren't they? Yeah, so we're going down the road. I'll turn the left base, so I'll do a 90 degree turn. Um, and then that's what you call base leg. Yeah. And then you do another 90 then. Uh, which is um, uh, final then. Golf Mike Whiskey, final runway 09. Mike Whiskey, Roger, first wind 150, four knots. Copy the wind, Golf Mike Whiskey.
Green Newsend 5, uh, Roman News is 09 left hand, uh, QFE 1017, QNH 1032, and we have no known circuit traffic. Ok, fine, so... Roman News is 09 left hand, QFE 1017, QNH 1022.